Rosie Douglas Foundation. Rosie died. We immediately formed the Rosie Douglas Foundation. We honored Mocha Productions. Tell us about the biggest ever symposium in the history of the Dominican diaspora in Brooklyn. Man, that, that was amazing. That was amazing. I can still remember this to this day. <laughs> Our daughter was just a couple of months old. That's right. That was right after 911, Momo. Yeah, in November. Yeah. yeah and we were well, December 7th. December 7th. We were st we, in December 7th? Yeah. Okay, we were still able to pull that off. New York City was still, you know, recovering. recovering in fact, the that. symposium was supposed to have been at the, at the World Trade Center Marriott, you know. Mm -hmm. And when that was destroyed, we moved it to Brooklyn. To Brooklyn, and, and, that, and that, that too was a relatively new Hilton that they built in, in Brooklyn. So that, 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 that the was hotel was new, I think. Yeah, that, that wasn't old yet. What was, the, what was the vibe? What was the passion of that event that you still remember? I, I think the vibe is, is um, what I remember is the same thing that we talk about today. I mean, building capacity, capital, yeah. capacity, building that in Dominican. I think that was the intention, that was the goal. And, and, I, and, I, and I think it would have resulted in bearing fruits. So sustainable know? development. Yes, sir. Because we had the physicists who had helped develop the Intel chip, Dr. Sherman Severin. We had physicists, we had lawyers like you and Irving Andre, we had doctors, um, doctor, <laughs> doctors, medical doctors, engineers. Just, it was beautiful, man, just to see so many professional Dominicans who had, um, who, who were employed with, come with leading companies, Fortune 500 companies, and being head of departments. And, and having the capability and the abilities to, 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 to just take Dominica to the next level, something that you always talk about, like Korea or Taiwan or any of these, even, even China, how they live in Israel, yes. how they build themselves, you know. And um, the initiative of that, you know, with, from guys like you, I mean, you, you guys are on point with that, you know. And um, I don't think uh, I met a... Uh, it was the first I've never seen these guys before, but I met a, uh, a young um, Roosevelt Skerritt and Vince Henderson. That's right. That's why that's, that's the first time most of us met them. That's, yeah. That's, they were right there with us. Uh -huh. we, we, and we interviewed him. Yes. Yeah, we, we interviewed both of them. That, uh, um, that uh, Again, I still have that tape. I don't think they were ever included in the, um, when we did the edit, because we, there was just so much material that we had, you know. I mean, it was just a beautiful day. It was one of my most memorable days. I was really proud to see, you know, the amount of them. I mean, it was well participated. I mean, we had people from all over, all over North America, all over North America, just, and Dominica. America. Yeah, and Dominica. It was a wonderful symposium, and and, and I wish we we could have had something like that, like maybe every couple of years, if we could. You know, I mean, that's that's a reach, but every couple of years. You know, to, come to, back, evaluate, well, where have we been? What have we, have we achieved? I want to share something with you, Morrison. You know, Dr. Schillingford, who was there, Dr. Clinton Schillingford of the Dominic Academy of Arts and Sciences, yeah. went to school with P.G. Patterson, myself, Dr. Schillingford, Dr. Thompson Faulkner, went to the Jamaican Embassy and we met Prime Minister P.G. Patterson with the assistance of Jamaican Ambassador to the UN, Curtis Ward. And we gave him the symposium papers. And do you know the Jamaicans started the symposium pro program based on Dominicas? Yes, and they have continued it every year yeah. in both Labour Party governments and PNP governments. Mm -hmm. So little Dominica set the pace because we had the Jamaican ambassador there. We had Una Clark, the New York City yes. Councilwoman there. Yeah, Clark, we had so the ambassador of Grenada there. So we had, yes, yeah. we had a lot of high ranking officials, you know. So again, you we had Lestrade there. What is his name? Um, Lestrade. Uh, Simbrin Lestrade, Lestrade was there, the Dominican ambassador to the UN. Yeah. We had Christine Parello. Mm -hmm. Council General in New York, yeah, yeah. we had Matt Peltier and all these people. And so what happened was Vincent and Scared were there and they went back and they became prominent, but they never gave the organizational support, the governmental support. And today we have Dominicans now being, being, being I mean, encouraged to come home and vote, but not being encouraged to be part of a foundation or Academy of Arts and Sciences, not being encouraged to try to come and you know, lecture at the state college and build capacity, teach people how to operate lathes, for instance, build computers, build wind turbines, build farms, just like the, the Jewish diaspora. That's what they do when they go to Israel. Yep. They are the ones who help build Israel. You know, and so this is a vision we had, and um, I'm happy that you were part of it. Any final words as we look to the record of the impact of Rosie Douglas? What, 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 what do you say about Rosie Douglas? What, 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 
what is his what is his memory for you? What does the memory hold there? Ruzi 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 was as humble as it came, uh, and I think Ruzi put country, put service before he put he put himself. I mean, the vision that he had is that one day that we would be able to achieve the capacity building mm -hmm. that he always envisioned, that he helped other countries build. Mm -hmm. So he, he he wanted that for Dominica because he went all over the world doing that for other countries. Mm -hmm. So why not your homeland? Yes, and I think. Unfortunately, he might have gotten exhausted again. Um, you know, I think I, I, I need to say that. I, I think there's something embedded in us Dominicans that we need to get rid of. Uh, I, I, and I'll state it like this. It's either my way or my way. Yes. <laughs> we're, we're very stubborn. Mm -hmm. And we don't, we don't shift you know, in our ideals and in our ideas. And um, I, I basically think that we need to be a little more flexible, you know, in, in terms of ideology and know that there's there's other opinions and there's other... Um, we need to be more democratic. You know? We need to be more open. Yeah. 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 We, 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 need to, we need to do that, you know, because um, we've seen the fruits and it, 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 it doesn't help us that much. It, it keeps us back. We, we got to go back, and we got to start over again. And 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 I think what the vision of Rosie was to advance the, the the human capacity in Dominica, and he was well on his way to do that. And I mean, he worked tirelessly. I mean, that could be the result why he, you know maybe why he expired so so soon. So soon. But, you know, I can tell you several times when Azif Ruzi was falling asleep, huh? yeah. you know, it could have been maybe the onset of the heart disease because I know when you begin to have heart failure, you know, you can be very um, exhausted, like exhausted tired. and tired and so on yeah. you know, because the blood isn't pumping as it should. Um, on the other hand, Ruzi was involved in a lot of clandestine work for African freedom and who knows, there are people who think he may have been killed. Yeah, but the fact is, you know, the fact is... Um, he was a great leader, and the first to be. He, he was, and I, I remember when when he when he, when he got released from um, from prison, and he came and he had his first meeting in Canada. My mother brought myself and my brother to the old market, the old slave market in um, next to the Gary Hotel over there. Yes, and had that meeting right in there. She brought us to listen to there. We, we were little kids. Yes, you know? yeah, yes. So yeah. it's somebody that I always, I always knew, always, you know, always admired, and and I knew meant well for Dominica. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. Maybe one day, somebody, uh, you can pass that legacy along because you, you do a great service. You and Doctor Andre do a good service. You know, you guys document a lot of stuff. Yes. The books that you guys, um, you guys create and publish. Um, yes, yes. That's you know. As I say, profits are never honored in their own country. That's right, Mooms. Yeah. That's right. So profits day, just like you and Kathy, but, because <laughs> you, you're talking about me. Remember when first Ponkasi Press came out in 92, it was Mocha Productions that took us around to WIB and, you know, helped us. And, you know, I mean, that yeah. weekend, you know, I mean, it was. So I want to give, Ponkasi Press wants to give a tribute, you know, so Ruzi Douglas Foundation gave a tribute in a way of a medal and a plaque. But I want to give a tribute to you in a way of my own words of heartfelt. Uh, gratitude and affection for you and Kathy because that weekend, I mean, you it was know, a Labor Day weekend. It was Labor Day weekend. And we were selling books instead of going to the dance. And that was out of character because people, when they wanted their rum and their wine and their beer and yeah, yeah, music yeah, in their yeah, ears, they don't yeah, know. About. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we took a chance and people were very, mm -hmm. very supportive. Yeah. Because they'd never seen that kind of thing ne before. Ne never seen that. We even went up, I think, um, I don't know if you, no, I don't think you, you I think you'd gone back to Maryland. Um, to Maryland. And left me the book, left me uh, a few boxes of books to sell, and I went to a, a town hall meeting. Um, Eugenia Charles was prime minister, and um, Simon Richards yes. was the what was he? You were an ambassador. Was he, was he, was he, you were an ambassador. He was the UN ambassador. Yeah. So I went up and I presented the books. Well, I wasn't presented the book, but I showed them the book, and they just looked at me. Yes, yes, yes. They didn't say yay, nay, nothing. They just they just looked at me and then Miss Charles 
knew uh, was very familiar with my wife's father. You know, he was of the, course um, he was a controller of Inland Revenue. <laughs> so yes. Hi, Mister. <laughs> <laughs> The same Miss Charles is, was same. in was she, in this house. She was knew in me this too. House. She knew me too because yes. my father was a uh, 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 superintendent of police, and you know, but she totally ignored me, boy, just like shh, yes, overhead. Yes. But it's all good. <laughs> she not, because at the end she said, "And I think you're good too," or some, something. Yes, like that. yes, yes. Little, yeah. But well, they, they were not supportive of the arts as they should have been. Or they, they knew better, but it was a cold war and they were in a lot of the politics. But I suffice it to say, uh, four years after that, 96 years in this house, and I interviewed her for her book. So Pon Kasi Press did her book. And that's the only book she ever did because there's one other book done on her, but that was by someone else. But the book, as you know, we did was an interview. So those were her own words. very words, mm -hmm. you know, as opposed to someone interpreting, you know. But that was frowned upon. It was frowned upon because at the time, you know, remember you were, you were looked upon as a, as radical. Yes, yes. And then um, to bring bread, if Eugenio at that time was was still taboo. Yes, you know, yes. But yet still, you know. You I did it because I, I, the reason why I did it, um, yeah, a lot of my friends who thought it was... <laughs> Taboo. I did it because even if she had taken my scholarship for having gone to Cuba, mm. I knew she had a lot of information that I, I was conscious of the fact that we owed a duty to history mm. to record that stuff. Because if we allowed her to pass away yeah, and, not, and not put anything down, that would have been a, a, a real sort of, you know, neglect of our heritage in a sense. So good, bad or indifferent, uh, whether she was a political ally or not, we needed to get her words for posterity and then let future anthropologists and historians dissect that for what it's worth. But because but because it's there. Had we never done anything, what would they have to dissect? Nothing. You know, so so sometimes you have to just go ahead and take a stance, you know? Yeah, you you have to. You have to. You know. But again it's unfortunate um, that, you know we got aimless use, you know. Around, yeah, because we came out of a time of cadet corps, of Boy Scouts, of student movement, youth organization, and right now we have a lot of idle youth. We have very little workforce development. We have drug use. We have gangs, and that's quite that's quite, quite sad. And, Even and I'll, and I'll tell you, the best times that I had in my life was the fourth Alfonso's um, Saint Alfonso's sculpture in Goodwill. Under the leader role. Under the leadership of Cecil Roll. Cecil Roll, I think, is his name. I think he passed. But yes. Man, yes. God bless this guy. This guy was a. This guy was an excellent leader. And this guy taught. I mean, I think um, he passed. They had, yes. they had guys all, all the way almost in New Town that would come and join because mm. the the the, the, the scout troop was for for. Saint Alphonse was very strong. Was it was for, for Goodwill. Yeah, it was just for for, for Goodwill people, and yeah. not Rose or New Town. Yes. You had guys as far as where you know Canefield. Coming, yeah. Uh, Newton. Because Bastro, I would Rose say, I would say, Rawl. You know, I'd say man. Rawl was the greatest scout leader of all time. Man, he was, he was, he was amazing. Man. Maybe in history. Yeah, that guy, that guy deserves. I think Cecil Hector Rawl was a politician. Just Hector, I think. Hector Rawl, you're right. Hector Rawl. He used to work for that um, that Iron Smith guy by the river there. Caesar. Caesar. That's yes. right. Well, you guys have memories. <laughs> you have good memory recall. The blacksmith. Yes, yes. Man, what an outstanding good. I, I hope one day they can give this guy um, some meritorious award for service. Yes, yes. This guy, this guy brought me to places that I never knew existed in Dominica. Do you know the first time I heard the song, song Brown, John Brown's Body Lies a Molding in the Grave? It's but his soul did. keeps. Well, it wasn't him. It was like another guy in Rosa called Sir John. Sir John, yeah. Yes. Yeah, he had the, he had the Rosa guys. Yeah, Rosa the Rosa guys. So, yeah, 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 Sir couldn't, John. He couldn't match. He tried his best. No, no Sir John was kind of kind of was kind of sweet, you know. <laughs> At that time, he didn't use those words, but you know, he used to talk. You know what I'm talking about more. He was a little flamboy. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, talk about that. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah, yeah, he yeah, took yeah, us yeah. up for campfire by Palm Grove, by the yeah, from. We always had that, you know, we had little skits that we would put on every summer. Yes, you know, yes. Go overseas, go to Martinique, go to Guadeloupe, Antigua, you know. You know, he, he, he was vibrant, you know. He had guys like, like Rainbow, Glennis Garroway, Jefferson, Joseph, 
McDonald Thomas, Arthur Smith. Yes, yeah. You know, all, Rain Moore, Robert uh, Revere. What was Davidson Revere? If he knows yes, his name. Yes, yes. Ended up being the bass. He was the bass kid, um, guitar, bass player for um, Liquid Ice. Yes, yes, um, yes. You yes. know, all all these guys were, you know, man, these guys were were, were leaders. Man. All these guys. <laughs> You know, we pass on the tutelage of those guys. You yes, know? yes, yes, you yes. Know, that girl was the um, Liz married to Richard was a, was the cop mask mistress. She and Cecilia Nicholas mm -hmm. again with girl guides, uh, Black Power, yes, MND activism and stuff like that was in charge of Boy Scouts. So again, you know, we we were just well nurtured. Well nurtured, know? well nurtured. It wasn't yeah. by accident that we became leaders. Absolutely. So the, the path for you and Kathy to Mocha Productions in Manhattan didn't just begin in New York. You were nurtured from Dominica. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. You know, yes. Morrison, well, we want to honor you and Kathy. It's a pleasure and honor to have us be together here at our home and to see after all these years we've maintained. And we want to thank you and for Abaya and Adana. You went up to... Um, Boston to bring Adana to Boston University. Yes, Congratulations. Sir. Thank you. Thank yes, you. indeed. You've done very well, Mobs. Hope she, hope she does well, too. Yeah, yeah. She's, she's a brilliant girl. I can see the yeah. brilliance in her eyes. She's going to a school with you know, great legacies and stuff like that. And yes. It's one of the top schools. Yes, yes. So let's hope she succeeds. We just wish her all the best. All yes, the yes, yes. Our, um, yes, yes. Of course. That she wants to be. Of course. As we said, like, go there and be best. That's <laughs> right. That's right. <laughs> God bless you, Morrison, and uh, your 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 wishes for Dominica. If you could send any message. Well, I wish the best for Dominica. I mean, we we've had the talent. We, we you know we we always come close, and then we we seems the star seems to drop, and then we've got to start again. Mm -hmm. We can see that for music. Mm -hmm. We can see that for our human resources, mm -hmm. human relationship, and stuff. It's there. The capacity is there. We just need to really start building um, capacity in Dominica. We have to leave with the power of intention, and we have to get out of the whole idea of this carib curse, you know. Because I, when I was doing some research for King and Country, I got a statement from the Royal Navy from the 1800s, man, mm -hmm. and it was very sobering, you know. The Royal Navy statement said that Dominica has had more disaster and. You know, revolution, disease, this, that, and that any nation could survive, could, could hope, could, could, could possibly survive. You know, it was a rather daunting statement. It basically was saying that Dominica has been a sort of mystery place, you know, a place where it is a lot of disappointment and setback. And so we have to get out of that mindset. Because sometimes, I think sometimes, the force of your intent mm -hmm. makes reality manifest. Mm -hmm. So if you believe that things bad are going to happen, they will. And if you believe that things good are going to happen, they also will. Yeah. So, you know, if we live in a purposeful way, focused on the positive, I think we can bring our country to a brighter place and that's what our hope is. So, we give thanks, Moms, mm -hmm. for you, Kathy, Bai, and Amad Adana, and for all that uh, which Mocha did and that which we try to do as students and as persons in the diaspora to help Dominica. And then as, 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 as young people and adults, I'd always wish the best um, for our country. I mean, that was always our goal. Yes. I mean, we, at the year we are overseas, but we still hold Dominica dear to our hearts. You know? yes, and yes, yes. We got a house. Yes. We got property back in Dominica. You know, yes, who yes. knows? You know, yes, yes. That's, that's where our rule is. If, if Uncle Trump decides, uh, there's no other place in the world we can just go free. Yes, Dominica. Just walk. You don't even need a visa to go there. Please don't land up my book. That's <laughs> right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Right. Night, night, moms. Mm-hmm.